Hey, good morning. Welcome to my first Milk Make Milk Paint Monday. <laughs> that was hard to say. Um, I am Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs. I am a retailer of Milk Paint now, and I am in Madisonville, Kentucky. If this is your first time watching, I want to take the time to welcome you. I also am a retailer of DIY Paint, which is a clay-based chalk style paint and as well as Roy Cycle decoupage papers and Iron Orchid Design products. Iron Orchid Design is an umbrella. They have um, transfers, they have molds, uh, stamps, and clay, and we're gonna be touching a little bit of that stuff today. But I'm excited to do my first Milk Paint Monday, and it's because there's a lot of people that have never used Milk Paint and don't understand Milk Paint, or maybe um, a little bit apprehensive about using milk paint so we're gonna talk about it in and um, from basics but I want to start from scratch as if you've never heard of it first of all let me just tell you that milk paint has been around since like the Egyptian days so milk paint is very very durable and long-lasting and it's all natural and that's what I love about it and so when I was gonna bring in another paint line it was important to me that it worked well with DIY paint with um, decoupage papers with transfers all of that stuff that it all worked played well together and that it was low VOC because I am a professional painter so I am I don't want to be inhaling latex and plastic and toxins and things that are flammable um, like what's out in the market so let's just talk about milk paint and even clay based chalk paints um, chalk style paints for for um, to be more specific chalk paint is Annie Sloan it was branded by her and that's what it is and now there's all these different chalk style paints in the market you can't buy true chalk paint in a big box store just like you can't buy milk paint in a big box store chalk paint that you buy in a big box store is latex paint okay let's just throw this out there rust-oleum chalked is not chalk paint um, it has it's latex paint is it's the base that's what it is and if you read the back of that label it is highly flammable has lots of toxins they recommend that you um, use it in a well ventilated area and um, that you wear um, a protective gear so that right there should be like red flags right it's zero VOC it's non toxic and so is Sweet Pickens, and that's why I chose it. Um, I chose it because of the colors that they have, what they stand for, how they made it. Milk paint, like I said, has been around since the days of old when they first started painting. They would take natural pigments from Mother Nature, um, God-given uh, plants and flowers, and they would make dyes, and then that's how they would do hieroglyphics and all kinds of paint and when they started painting um, houses and barns and furniture it was milk paint some form of milk paint it's always been around but there's so many of us that have never heard it never used it and so that's what milk paint Mondays is all about and so this is a little sample now I don't have any of these in the store but if you order it online I can get you samples if you wanted to try it that's a great way and this sample is eight no no, that's not too big. That's two ounces. So you could do a, a, some small items with it. And you could try different colors if you don't know. And then also, just like with DIY paint, you can mix your own colors, which is awesome. So this is a two-ounce sample. I'm just going to show you the different packaging. This is a pint. So there's enough powder in here. It goes to right here. If you mix all of it, it will make a pint. Now, here's a disclaimer. If you're used to DIY paint, a pint of DIY paint goes way further than a pint of milk paint will. Um, and that's just because of the nature of clay-based paint and it's so thick and you can water it down 10 to 1. You can water this down. The recommended ratio, if you're going to paint furniture or smalls, is 50-50. So whatever scoop you choose, this is a two tablespoon, that's what I usually choose, or I have this one that's one tablespoon. It's one to one ratio, warm water. And then you could also get, boom, the big one. It's a gallon. Now, um, this color is Bluebird, and that's actually the color that I'm gonna be using today. 
Um, so this was that I showed Sweetie Jane, and this is curry, a nice mustardy yellow. The other thing that you want to know about milk paint is that is it, it's unpredictable, and I think people that um, this was a flower sack, by the way, was it? Yeah, no, window pane. This was window pane. They have a couple of different whites, um, so it's unpredictable, and some people have a hard time with that because they don't know what they're going to get. I think that's what makes milk paint fun. But to ensure that it's not gonna to be too chippy for you, what you wanna do is you want to use Extra Bond. It's VOC free, so it's zero VOC, there's low odor, it's water soluble, and you would add this. So if you added two scoops of water, you would add one scoop of Extra Bond and mix it in with your paint. This is the full line of colors for Sweet Pickens. And Sweet Pickens itself, the company, um, Sasha is the owner of it, and she's got three companies under her umbrella, but that, where they make the, the milk paint, it's actually been around since 1974. So, I mean, you're talking about a company that's been around forever. They actually make all of the milk paint in the U.S. For any company, they make the base, and then they'll add their own pigments. So, this is like they know milk paint they've been around for a really long time so i'm gonna get in close look at all the beautiful colors so there's so many colors and then of course you can mix you just mix whatever ratio of the powder and then you add your water and if you're going to do extra bond i invite you to log into my website lisaboondesigns.com and then click on sweet pickens milk paint you will find some basic information and then all of the colors that Sweet Pickens offers. There are so many and they're gorgeous. We also have Klingon brushes, wax brushes, hemp oil, oil waxes, a special lye brush cleaner, and so much more. So you'll definitely want to take a few minutes and check out all of the products. Next week, I will give you part two of this Milk Paint Bas Basics lesson and we'll actually start using the milk paint we're going to be using bluebird and i will show you all of the products that i finished it was from a recent haul if you have any questions about milk paint please comment below and let me know i would love to hear your experiences using milk paint if you have before and what you like and what you don't like about milk paint be sure to comment below also Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be doing lots of milk paint tutorials and also DIY paint, IOD, and Roycycled. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an incredibly blessed day.